Welcome to Ideas in Writing. Tara Patton here with our special guest, Mira Tweedy. How are you today? Very well, thanks. Thanks for having me. Thank you for being on our show. Now, you wrote a book called Here, There, and Everywhere, which I have here. It's a beautiful book. Now, this is a parrot, obviously. It's a rainbow lorikeet parrot, and I actually have one at home just like this. His name is Zazu. Zazu. And the title of the book came from the fact that one morning I was in the kitchen making breakfast, and I just, you know, was standing there watching him for a few minutes, and I noticed that within a five-minute span, he had pooped. He had gone from, like, the, what, the counter where he pooped to the table where he played for a minute and then pooped again. And in five minutes, he had pooped in, like, in five different places. And it just came out. I mean, I just said out loud, you really poop here, there, and everywhere. And, and I thought, you know, that's funny. So I decided that that would be the title of the story, and I started working on it that night. I would get into bed and I would think of more things to put in the story, and that's how it turned into this children's story. And now the book is no longer about a bird that poops. Well, it starts out with him pooping. Oh, okay. It does. I mean, here, there, and everywhere has a few different uh, connotations and meanings in the book. It starts out, and that's why the other thing I'll say is that it has a great range because most children's books, you'll notice, are targeted to like younger children or they're targeted to five or six year olds. But this one is the age range I was amazed to find out is from three and a half to 12 and the reason is because the bird's name is Sreep so when parents read it and and his parents names are Lurit and Marit and he has a sister and they're all like lots of ease so the pa <laughs> so when a parent reads the book they have to say Sreep 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 over and over again and you know like kids are usually fidgety when they're listening to a story but now and you know acting up and now when they listen to their parents they're like mesmerized because the parents are making all these funny noises <laughs> and in the beginning it talks about the fact that he poops everywhere okay. and that a parrot in the wild does that but it taught it you know the, the point is made that in the wild like when the young parrots poop in the nest there's insects that come and eat the poop and there's microbes that eat it and it really plays a, a role in the ecosystem because it's nutritious and so even though we find it gross you know that the w other wildlife depend on it right. because they eat seeds and they different parrots eat nuts and when they poop animals on the ground that could never reach the nuts that are high up get you know, it's a little bit digested, but, you know, so, um, but in our, our apartments, it's a whole different story. And this bird uh, ends up trapped, as millions of parrots were and still are every year, um, trapped in the wild of New Guinea. With, and you see in the beginning of the book, he lives with his flock and how they're very social and all the things that parrots do. And he ends up in a pet store in New York, and he's bought by a little boy named Peter, and the two learn about living in captivity. And it does have a happy ending, I'll say that. Um, Spoiler alert. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, really. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> but it's really, um, you know, and you get to see the comparison between, you know, what life is like in the wild, where the other animals depend on the birds, to him being in a cage. And, um, you know, and the mom in Peter's house has to get the, the furniture professionally cleaned because, um, because he, you know, poops everywhere. Take a, let's and, take a look at some of the illustrations oh, in here. I know you have some phenomenal yeah. illustrations. So here's the young birds. Aren't they beautiful? Here's the young birds in the um, nest. And then here's all the insects eating them. And this is how they watch and learn from their flock. And then this is when um, Sreet first learns to fly and how Aww. much he loves the sun on his back. Isn't and that beautiful. I mean, the illustrations. I know they're novel. fabulous. Lisa Brady is the artist, and she is just remarkable. You know, she started out as a tattoo artist. Really? Yeah. Well, I know Jane Goodall has even uh, yes. done the forward for this yes. book and quoted it as a masterpiece. Right. So, I mean, that's yeah. She said it should be in every library, school, and home, and the Humane Society has endorsed it. And it's a green book, also. Green? Wow. Yeah, I was determined to make it green because. Um, the, I found out um, when I decided to publish it that, I mean, it never occurred to me, you know, initially that there would be such issues with children's books in the ways that they were published. And it turns out that the majority of children's books now are being, I found this out from printers in the United States, are being published, are being 
printed in Asia or the paper stock comes from Asia, even if they're printed here. And the reason is uh, that it's very expensive generally to do a full color. I mean, this has got this is a book that's 48 pages and has 42 illustrations or photographs in it. And, um, you know, because at the end there's 12 pages of educational material about real parrots and how kids, and it's the whole experience of the book is continued on the website um, at parrotstory.com. And it's an animated site, so the book comes to life, and kids can uh, sponsor a parrot in the wild, a, a rainbow lorikeet, just like Sweet in Indonesia. Really? Right, right near New Guinea, and or one in an avian rescue, and we even have um, parrotstory.com. Yep, and we even have like here's two bios of different parrots oh, in wow. um, avian rescues here in the United States, and it's information about them, where they came from. I mean, this is yes. two parrots that have become bonded, that like are just really good friends, and one's tiny and yes. one's really big, but they're. Um, living in parrot rescues here in the United States. Lucky and Jazz. Yeah. That's Isn't adorable. That adorable. I know. And Kirby is a green winged macaw. Very, very interesting. And I, I love that it has so many different avenues with this book right. where you're saving saving parrots in the wild and you're also saving paper. Exactly. And you're educating people about the rainbow lorikeets. lorikeets. I, I, and it's just a beautiful thing. So parrotstory.com. Um, Mira Tweedy. Right. Here we are. Go buy the book here, there, and everywhere. And check out www.parrotstory.com.